Okay, well I got my um, HHO electrolyzer up and running. Um, it's just a couple of stainless steel plates in there that are separated by a, about one millimeter with a piece of tape <laughs> holding them apart. Not very effective, but at least it did prove the principle um, of electrolyzing a solution of uh, distilled water and lye at the correct amount. And then uh, that's the mixture of the two gases that comes out of here and goes around there and comes into what they call the bubbler. And that's bubbling up, uh, like I said, a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's not just hydrogen. Uh, when you electrolyze a, a water solution, it, it's uh, hydrogen and oxygen, not just hydrogen. So this is that hydroxy. And then uh, I've got it coming up out of that and going down into my bang bottle, I call that. This is where you put the, the flame in there and it goes bang. Or later on, it goes in the engine of the car and makes it go bang, 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 bang. And all of this is being run by a solar panel. And that's what I wanted to test out was could I, could I get the sun's energy to make hydrogen and oxygen as a hydroxy. And it's doing it. And that's the uh, voltage hitting the system right here. And I am using the Bedini SSG. This is a Bedini uh, Simplified Schoolgirl design. And the cell is being run by the high spike energy coming off of uh, the coil. This is not being run by the panel per se or a battery. It's the high energy spike. And uh, it's not a lot. I mean, it's not like when you zap it with a whole bunch of, of amperage, but it does work. And I thought this was really interesting. And I tried varying the frequency of the motor uh, up and down, and it, if you do hit a, the right frequency, it electrolyzes better. So there is something to be said by this uh, oscillating, um, pulsing uh, voltage current going into that cell. But look at the amperage draw on this thing. This is all it's drawn right now. It's drawn three, about 300 milliamps, and it's producing hydrogen. Now, I was um, looking at another thing here. If I hook a battery to the system here, there goes the amperage coming off the panel. Now, this is loading up energy into the battery here, which is good. That's a good thing. You're actually getting more out of your solar panel. And, of course, the voltage drops down to whatever the battery voltage is. But it still produces hydrogen and oxygen, hydroxy. But it seems to slow down. So this was something I wanted to see, too, what this was all about. But anyway, that's the, uh, the latest experiment using the Bedini SSG to uh, run a HHO generator. Now when I zap that generator with the 12 volts, this thing just goes nuts. And I'll show you what happens here. I'm just going to take this battery off of here. And I'm going to take this right over here and uh, take the, the leads off of the SSG and put it on this electrolyzer. And check this out. This, this is amazing. Look at what happens. Now that's about 8 amps. When you zap this thing with 8 amps, it just goes nuts. I mean, it just really, really goes nuts. So, uh, anyway, just to show you that it, it's something to do with amperage and voltage and all that it makes this all work. But I tell you what, I'm learning a lot, and I sure appreciate all the comments you guys are feeding me on the internet. I think all of this stuff helps everybody at least learn. We may not come up with anything fancy, but at least we're learning stuff. So anyway, that's the latest.